YouTuber Vara Dark and many other people, myself included, have noticed that our comments are being hidden by the Lord of the Rings on Prime blue checkmark. So they released a trailer for Lord of the Rings and I'm going to make a video about it in a bit. It's very interesting. And if you say anything negative about wokeness, your reply is being hidden. Now, I find this to be absolutely fascinating because uh, when Lord of the Rings was announced, you had a lot of moral busybodies and a lot of journalists and activists and decent people, unlike us trolls, I suppose, who were pointing out that, oh my god, well, Lord of the Rings is a story and it's got only white people. We can't have that happening because that would be white supremacy. It would give rise to the Third Reich. I mean, can you imagine the damage it would do to the world? It would set years of race relations back. I mean, we, we just can't allow for a TV show to be anywhere near the source material. We need to wokeify it. We need to make it progressive because you understand the initial book. I mean, what did that author actually know? What did he know when he created a masterpiece? No, put us in charge. Let us make us better. Give us money. Because only with money can we bring diversity. Diversity doesn't exist by itself. No, no, no. Give money to the activists. Give money to the officers. And only with the power of money can we actually make it diverse. So now obviously people are complaining. And I will tell you why it's a good reason to actually complain. But uh, now the people who are complaining, the actual customers, the actual people that you want to watch your show, uh, they're getting silenced, they're getting censored because we don't matter. And it's like, oh, okay, I understand. Well, if I don't matter, I'm not going to watch your video. How dare you? With what right do you have to silence me, the customer? It, with the right that you don't want my business, of course. Oh, well, if you don't want my business, ah, I understand. Uh, so why am I a little bit upset about the wokeification of the hobbits, right? Like, first of all, you're taking resources away from making the story great, and you're investing it into this political correctness bullshit. It's like, oh, let's make black hobbits. Oh, isn't that interesting? Oh, it's so fascinating. So you're telling me that before there were people who weren't interested in the Lord of the Rings, but now that they, they found out that they have black hobbits, they'll be like, oh, well, now I have to see it. Now, now I gotta see it. <laughs> Is there a single such person on the planet Earth? I'm really curious. It's like, hey, do you want to watch Lord of the Rings? Nah, I'm not into that. I mean, it's it's lame. It's fantasy and stuff. Yeah, but did you know they have black hobbits? Oh, really? They have black hobbits? I mean, I know that if they have black hobbits. Now, how can I not see it? <laughs> so why am I upset about black hobbits? Well, let, let me show you something, all right? Like, this is the map of uh, the Earth Midal. And as you can see, there, there's a lot of unexplored stuff that didn't happen in the story. Like, for example, do you guys remember those uh, brown people that, that came up with those powerful mammoths during the, the battle for Gondor? And it was so amazing and they were so cool. Or, or those pirates. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, they're kind of south. Like, they're, they're probably here somewhere. Why can't we experience this part? And then you can have your diversity in Lord of the Rings. But, like, why not just experience some of these lands? Like, uh, travel somewhere south of Mordor. Like, we can see what's here. Huh? Why can't we do that? Oh, because it requires creativity, doesn't it? It requires some good writing, isn't it? And, and what people who are woke hate the most, even worse than fans, is good writing. I mean, they, they despise good writing, first and foremost. Like, it's it's kind of like their kryptonite. It's kind of like a cross to a vampire. They they really don't enjoy that. So that that's why it's a lot easier to just wokeify some hobbits and call it a day. Rather than actually make something interesting. Or, or you know, like, uh, the idea of black elves, I, I wouldn't be against. It's like, all of a sudden, you have black elves coming. And everyone's like, oh, why are there black elves? Who are these people? Oh, they're coming from, like, some different continent that no one even knew existed. They're coming from a parallel dimension. They're coming from somewhere. And they have a problem. Let's, let's see if we can fix it. And you go... And you travel to their place and you realize what the problem is and they have like a different civilization and they're using different types of magic and now you can explore things and it's interesting. But no, let, let, let's not do any of that, right? Let's, let's just make it easy. Just just wokeify the hobbits, woke wash the hobbits and then call anyone who complains a racist. Yeah, that, that's a lot simpler. Oh my God. Is, is it difficult, by the way? Is it difficult to add diversity like that? Probably not. Does it improve the product? Well, not really, because you're taking money away from actually making the product and you're putting it into spreading the message. 
which I generally don't understand why the message requires spreading. Like, everyone knows about it by now. Everyone heard the message, okay? We understood it. It's like trying to spread Christianity. Like, there, there is no way you can spread Christianity. Everyone knows about Christianity. Like, people already know. Unless you want to spread the message into Middle East, you know, into Russia, into China. Like, okay, that, that I would understand it. But you're not interested in that. You want to spread it in the West. Uh, it's almost like they're making the video, well, the TV show. It's almost like they're making it for the journalists, right? Because they're not banning the journalists. They're not uh, muting the journalists. They're muting the fans, aren't they? It's almost like they don't even care about what the fans think. As long as the journalists are pleased, then I guess like the journalists will be the PR arm of the company. And, and they will sell on behalf of Amazon. That's what they're planning to do. It's like, oh, well, you know, like appease the journalists that the journalists will bring the people. I, for one, uh, think this is going to be like wheel in time, wheel of time type of thing. Uh, it, it's going to be bad. But uh, th that's just my prediction. And it's kind of sad. I mean, I love the Middle Earth movies, by the way, which apparently they're very problematic. Like I've been told by a lot of uh, journalists that the movies were problematic. Yes, like the movies that have international renown. Do you notice how everything problematic has international renown? Do you notice that everything problematic actually sells and makes a profit? Did you notice that? Isn't that interesting? I find it absolutely fascinating. But anyway, right, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.